Hey, what is up guys? This is Cam25. Welcome back to another Ark Survival Evolved mobile video. Boom! Yeah, boys and girls. Ark Survival Evolved is still new on mobile. And a lot of you guys might also just be starting with it. And I'm going to give you these tips to help you out. Okay, so here we go. So firstly, before we go into any of the servers... You'd want to decide where you want to play, whether it's single player or online. If you want to go online, there's a few things you can go. So tip number one, the servers. There are two types of servers that you can join. There is PvP and PvE. Now the difference with PvP and PvE, uh, PvP is player versus player. Now in these kinds of servers, you will get raided by other players and you have to play a kind of stealthy game and uh, defend yourself against other players in pve is player versus environment and yeah you are gonna defend against dinos so that is the best server for those that don't want to be raided and have their stuff destroyed by other players also there are different difficulties there's easy medium and hard now these are the different difficulties of dinos you will face easy being the lowest level dinos and hard being the highest uh, level dinos I've seen dinos go up to 280 I don't know what's the max but I've seen on uh, PvE hard that a dino was 280 so firstly once you get in you want to change your uh, layout uh, as you can see I've got my hotbar on the screen which is easy access to the things I have on my hotbar or you can change to the flow if you like that now that you will have to drag your hotbar items from left to right or up and down right there all right all depends on you I prefer the on-screen hotbar because I'm from Xbox and that's the way we like it okay so this one is the basics of controls the right half of the screen is action um, you can double tap to punch collect uh, resources and use your weapons and items in hand and the left half of the screen is for movement and here you can double tap to run swipe up to jump and you also got these special options if you swipe from left to right or up and down right there okay tip number four once you spawn in you want to go and get yourself some basic tools now to gather resources to craft your basic tools you can punch trees for thatch and for a bit of wood as well also if you want to uh, collect stone there will be stone on the ground which you can double tap on your right side of the screen to gather the stone and this will enable you to craft your basic tool right there which is the pick once you get your pick you can move on to your hatchet that will require some flint to make it easy for you, you can put it in your hot pot and it will tell you what you'll need to craft the item you want to craft so the next step is food water and shelter so when you start at the beginning the easiest source of food is for you to collect berries now these can be collected from little small bushes on the ground uh, you got these banana plants that you can gather berries from you got these jungle ferns that you can collect berries from here again you double tap the right side of your screen to gather the berries okay now as you progress you will get items to help you get other sources of food for example meat water you can drink from uh, the rivers or sea or ponds it's always available that's why when you build your shelter at the beginning you want to stay close to a water resource but not on the beach like because if you're on pvp you will get raided <laughs> and it's a good thing to note that when you a high enough level to unlock some water skins keep some of that on you but do note they are water skins so they will leak water and by doing so you will lose water over time so keep that in mind so Step six is survival on 
Arc Survival Evolved. Now, the best defense that you can have in uh, early game is to run. <laughs> that is the best thing you can do because most of the dinos in Ark is probably gonna kill you. And um, the best method to get out of danger is to run. Now, when you're leveling up at the beginning, what you can do is level health to take a little bit of a beating, stamina to run longer, movement speed to run faster, and a bit of weight so you can carry the things you pick up. Alright guys, so bonus tip right here. Uh, remember collecting berries early on in the game is very important. Uh, one of them is that you can use stim berries to increase your stamina while running. As you can see I ate a little bit of stim berries and you can see that my stamina went a bit up. So, that you can use. But do remember that when eating stim berries it will drain your water. So always stay close to a source of water or have your water skins with you so leveling up in arc mobile just know everything you do in arc survival evolved you will gain some sort of experience points even by doing nothing you will get experience points but to level up faster you need to be crafting gathering stuff completing side quests which is on your menu you'll see available pursuits on your left hand side by completing that uh, also um, killing high level dinos and that will also give you a fair amount of experience points but on the island you also get explorer notes which you will be able to unlock at I believe level 5 now this would give you an extra boost to gain XP I think it is a uh, two times XP and as well you have these uh, special uh, two times XP boost by watching ads you can use that as well I will just show you in a second see these are the explorer notes that you can get and they will give you an extra uh, boost so if you combine all of them by the ads boost and also using the um, explorer notes as you can see I have a four times boost of XP so you'll be able to get lots of XP by combining everything that I told you about um, leveling up so that's a good way to level up guys let's see if we get another one will we get another XP or it stays at four Okay, it stays at 4. And look at there, I just got the Explorer Notes and I got levels already. So that's amazing. Look at there, how many levels I got. Sweet, 2 levels. Nice! Just by collecting these Explorer Notes, you can get levels as well. And I have a 4 times uh, boost. I have to start crafting some stuff, man. To add tribe mates and allies to your tribe, you should see on the top left corner of your screen when you're facing the person uh, that will give you an option to either invite them to your tribe or to create a new alliance. You can go to your tribe manager to manage your tribe members and also you will be able to manage your alliance. Okay and for the next thing guys the map. Now this is very important in Ark Survival. I currently do not have any beds stored, unlucky. So this has a lot of information on it. It will also show you where all your bases are if you have beds in them. Um, as you can see, I've got the death sign right there. That is because we got wrecked and that's where my bed is supposed to be. <laughs> so you can find your bases here. You can also find your allies and your tribe mates using this if they are online so if you do get lost you will be able to find them and as you can see the marker right there is turning around that is me and if there is tribe mates or allies you should see a dot on the map and you can actually find each other and you can find your bases as well just remember to place beds so that will give you an indication where your base is all right boys and girls for the last tip we're going to be talking about taming and your first tame okay so preferably 
when taming your first tame, you want to go for something that is low leveled. Hopefully that tame will help you to also progress through the game. So the best thing to go for is either a Parasaur or a Drake and or a Mars Chops. And now these will help you gather resources to progress through the game. Alright, I've got a Raptor coming towards me. If you're going the knockout way, which is mostly all dinos, you can either use a slingshot, a club, or your fist to knock out the team. If you're going the passive route, which is the mass chops, uh, then you have to put its preferred food in the last slot of your hop bar, and you'll be able to passive tame that. So once you got the dino of your choice knocked out, you would need to give it um, the food it requires. For herbivores, you'll need to give it berries. For carnivores, you'd need to give it meat. Okay, guys, bonus tip. Um, if you want something strong and fierce in, as your first dino, uh, you can actually tame a dire wolf. Uh, to tame this, you can use bolus to immobilize them and also uh, use either slingshot or your club or fist to knock it out and feed it meat. Uh, the reason why you can tame this is because dire wolves do not require saddles to ride it and uh, this will be a really cool first mount in the game. So guys, that is it for today. Top 10 beginner tips for peeps that are starting out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and if you did, smash the thumbs up button and if you're new to the channel subscribe for more content also remember to click the bell icon to catch every single video that i upload this is cams 25 signing out peace